He was dishonest with me as his wife. He was dishonest with his fellow workers. He was dishonest with his bosses. That is his trait. It is his character. Jeff Hawkins, the perfect guest for Leah Remini. You do get paid and you do get attention for doing this stuff. I don't work for free. I mean, I'm just a crappy has-been actress who's trying to make a dollar off my church. Responsible television producers go to great lengths to ensure the credibility of their subjects. Not so for Leah Remini, a former sitcom actress in search of relevance. And not for A&E, a cable outlet that sells out for ratings. Content to take the word of a person like Jeff Hawkins, Leah Remini tries to pass him off as a man who was treated unfairly. But the only thing unfair was Hawkins' treatment of others. A former copywriter and paste-up boy for the Church of Scientology, Hawkins' career was marked by habitual dishonesty and a long string of failures and disasters. Church colleagues repeatedly tried to help him. In a rare moment of remorse, he stated, I am addressing a long-term situation of criminality and irresponsibility, which has been destructive. I tried to cover up my crimes with PR, lies, dishonesty, to avoid being found out. Not only was Hawkins a liar on the job, he led a secret life as a sexual predator and thief. The truth was learned years later when Hawkins was discovered photographing his private anatomy in a public courtyard while wearing lingerie. Here was a thief who stole women's underwear, not only from a laundromat, but by entering neighbors' apartments and filching garments from their dresser drawers. Even more disturbing, here was a serial peeping Tom who spied on neighboring women as they undressed in the privacy of their homes. Virtually no female co-workers were safe as he secretly snapped their photographs, violating their privacy for his sexual purposes. Not surprisingly, Hawkins was immediately dumped, first by his wife, then by his church, having proved he would not lead an ethical life. He wasn't honest with me about it. I found out he'd been doing it for 30 years. He never told me about it, that he had these things going on when he married me. He was never honest with me, not for one day of our marriage ever. Jeff Hawkins, treated unfairly? Not long after Hawkins was dismissed from the church, he discovered he could be rewarded for his dishonesty by joining a small faction of malcontents, and he began to lie for money. The former guru of this faction, Mark Rathbun, grew so sick of Hawkins' dishonesty that he spoke out about him on social media. Look at Jeff Hawkins. These people just degenerate over time into these ghoulish, creepy people who will literally just, they're so delusional, they will say things with all conviction and be filmed doing it, even though it contradicts stuff that they've said years before. But there's even more that Leah Remini conceals from her viewers, because Hawkins also joined the notorious cyber terrorist group, Anonymous. He took part in their campaign of bigotry and hate and praised this gang responsible for inciting 200 documented threats of violence against his former religion. So why would Leah Remini and a and &E portray Hawkins as having been treated unfairly? I mean, I'm just a crappy has-been actress who's trying to make a dollar off my church. That's right. To Leah Remini, it's all about the cash, as it is for A&E, specifically showrunner Miles Reef, 
producers Eli Holtzman and Aaron Sedman, and A&E corporate executives Paul Bucheri, Rob Chernow, and Elaine Frontaine Bryant. All of them fully aware of who Jeff Hawkins really is. Before Leah Remini and a and &E even began production on their show, the church gave them full documentation about all of her so-called people, court rulings, sworn declarations, co-worker testimony. Yet Remini and a and &E chose to ignore it all. I find it interesting that Leah Remini is using someone like a Jeff Hawkins, who was absolutely known for being dishonest and for being a liar, and known for being a liar to his own wife, and known to be a liar to his fellow um, workers and to his bosses. And that's who Leah Remini is using as a credible source. It's just typical of her. She can't get anybody else except somebody like him. But Leah Remini will do anything for money, as her own father will tell you. That's what she does. She, you know, she earns, earns a living making up lies, talking about people that she doesn't know. And that's about as fair a statement as you will find for both Leah Remini and her guest liar, Jeff Hawkins. <laughs> 